Hello Minecrafters and uh, everybody else on the internet. I'm Two Cranes and this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, first of all I'm going to talk about a, l a little bit about me, not too much. Um, uh, I don't know how many of you know but... Oh that's loud, hold on. I work at an elementary school. Now I'm not a teacher. Um, not sure if I want to be a teacher, but uh, what I am doing right now, I'm uh, a yard duty during the recess, and then I just started working as an aide, a teacher's aide, in a kindergarten class. Now, we all heard that uh, about or most of us have about the um, Minecraft teacher and then after he worked on uh, worked with on Minecraft with his with his kids uh, it kinda it, he that kinda took off and then I've heard other people or other classrooms and different things or in different schools using it uh, so I uh, brought it up to the teacher that I work with, you know, uh, why not try to set up a lesson using Minecraft? You know, kindergartners, uh, you know, they're around four or five years old. I really think that they'd get a kick out of this. So um, I'm going to... I'm going to have a few examples set up of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to shape their lesson because uh, I'm I asked her if, uh, if it was okay and she said that she would like to try it so I'm going to these examples that I'm, you're going to see in this video are what I'm going to use to show her and see if she's okay with it which I really hope she is and she's really cool uh, and so I'm pretty sure she would uh, like it just as much as I do. Okay, so the first example I have here, uh, the kids at school, they have these um, words that they, oh, uh, dang it, you know what, I need to reset this, hold on, I'll, I'm going to have it cut and I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that guys, but like I was saying, uh, the kids at school, they have these words. Um, that they have to uh, learn how to, or they have to recognize, they have to learn how to spell and say properly. So they call these sight words, uh, they call them sight words because they're words that we see every day like the, a, and, c, it, i, a, uh, things like that. So the first thing that I thought of was, you know, instead of you know the kids sitting down on the carpet or or um, the teacher holding up a flash card and going okay you know what's this word how do we spell it we could use that and turn uh, their you know they're them trying to spell their sight words into an adventure or like a little mini game so this is very rough this is just a proof of concept but one of the words that they that uh, they've been trying for for a little while is C. So I have these signs. They all have letters on them, and they have to. Uh, we'll see what my idea is. Is they're gonna? Uh, I'm gonna hook up my laptop onto uh, the projection or the projector that we have in the classroom, and I'm gonna ask them. Okay, so. In order for us to get to the next stage, we have to spell C, and I'll ask them to spell C for me. So here we go. We have S E E, and the door opens. And then uh, this is only one room, but uh, we can. I could go into MC Edit and copy this. And uh, I could have it do different things, like I could have redstone hooked up to water, 
that might uh, uh, like k kick uh, some torches under and then like the like I have like a gravel wall that will fall into ground uh, you know just to change it up and make it more interesting for the kids but this is uh, just the basic idea and we would have more I think they have like 15 words or something like that and so at the very end look um, like we, we would we would set up a goal or uh, first of all like okay so like one adventure we, we have where going through here and we have to find the treasure room so we can go in and we they get all the words right all the doors open they walk through to the very end and there's a room full of gold so um, I really think that kids would especially kids as young as kindergarten they would be able to really enjoy something like this like they would be learning how to spell they'd be learning different things without even realizing that they're doing it because uh, you know there's Minecraft layered over on top of it which already uh, looks um, which is a looks appropriate for a kids game so uh, the way I set it up is very basic I think I overcomplicated it but it's whatever you know, this is for kindergartners. This isn't uh, a redstone. This isn't supposed to be a redstone masterpiece. So um, I have the whole wall right here full of buttons, but uh, just to make it more simple, uh, or, or just to make it simple, I'm, I just have the lines coming out from. Uh, I just, I just have the lines coming out from what word I want to spell. So we have the, uh, see this is S, comes to an RS Norlatch, the state changes, and then I have a little modified AND gate with, that takes three inputs instead of one to turn this torch on. So S comes in, turns the torch off, here's an E which the line goes under and I have the line cut with uh, the blocks and comes and turns this one off and then we have another one right here and then and then there's, all, all this is is just it's just hooked up to the door with uh, repeaters and redstone uh, and then redstone torches under the doors and the inversion and all that stuff so that is one uh, example I have or one idea I have a couple more so I'm going to set that up and uh, I'll be back when I have that all done alright guys the last the last thing I wanted to show you is very basic uh, I it's not fully fleshed out yet I kind of uh, just have uh, this here, uh, the, the kids with uh, math, they uh, have to do, um, sometimes they have to do like a little bit of like pairing, so uh, they'll have, they'll have a picture of like say like three apples, or like four apples and three something else, and they pair up the three and they have to tell us how much is left over and in this case it would be one so what I'd have them do is um, it would be one they put one block in our slot here and then they flip the switch and then I'll have the you win line set up to a song that I'll play I, I didn't set anything up right now but something like that uh, so I'm going to work on it a little bit more. I kind of want to set something up to uh, to make it to where they say like if they don't get it right, then nothing will play. Uh, I need a little bit more time to think about that and 
see how I could do it. It's it's that's going to be a lot more complicated. It's going to be a lot bigger than just having a row of repeaters and a block connecting to or connecting the the line and having it go out and do something else. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, like this video. It's a little bit different. Um, I'm using Minecraft for work, which is really cool. And this is going to be my main focus. It, it's going to be like my adventure map for kids. Because I'm going to expand on this. And uh, I, could, I could hook this up to pistons and then have pistons come up and I have to jump on the pistons to get across like an endless pit or something. You know, so this is this is my main focus and that's just this is just something else that uh that I had an idea of but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use this. So uh yeah that's it for today guys. Uh we're gonna have um another uh, regular video, uh, regular episode video soon. Uh, I just thought I'd like to share this with you guys. Uh, talk a little bit about what I do when I'm not playing games or Minecraft or whatever. And uh, to uh, share with you guys that uh, I actually am getting uh, using. Uh, I'm going to start using Minecraft to uh, teach kids. So. Uh, like I said, <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I got uh, some really cool stuff coming up uh, with uh, my main world and doing stuff with Drill Masters Rock and uh, stuff like that. So I'll uh, see you guys later.